guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sean Karbanda, and welcome back to another episode in the Discord bot series where I show you guys how you can code your own Discord bot. So in today's episode, I'm going to go over a very important thing that most Discord bots should have, and that is the mute and unmute command. So basically what a mute command does is basically it mutes a member, which basically does removes all the permissions from a member except for viewing a channel. So basically what a member can do if they're muted is simply view a channel. Also, just a quick side note that this is a two-part episode, I guess. so you're watching the first part and I'll be using the next part later. So in this part, we're going to be going over the basic mute and unmute. And in the next video, we're going to go over a time mute, which is basically like you can mute a user for a specific amount of time. And then after that time has elapsed, the user will be automatically unmuted by the bot. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you can catch that video when I release that video. So let's get into this video now. So what we're going to do is first of all create some roles. So if we go to our roles, to go to my server settings, then go to roles. As you can see right here, I have some roles. So you don't have to create the roles like exactly how I did it, but sim something similar to this. So first of all, it would be ideal that you have like an admin role which has the administrative permissions, and then a moderator role who can moderate your server. And then this, these two permissions you don't really need to have. I just created these two roles to make it easier in my previous video where I showed you how you can create a kick and ban command. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure to check that out. And then what we're looking at today is we want to make sure you have a member role and you have a muted role. The reason why you don't want to use the everyone role right here is because the everyone role you'll soon realize when you create multiple Discord bots and servers that it is prone to errors. And that's why most servers have like a default member role in which basically they assign to all the members upon joining. So I'll, in later video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use that, how you can create a welcome role with using your Discord bot. So for now, what you want to do is create a member role and then make sure to give it the permission that you want. So I would advise to clear all, remove all the permissions from the everyone role and give your member role that's specific to your server, the view channels and the send messages, those type of permissions. Okay, and then you want your muted role. All you want to give your muted role is the view channel's permission and deny everything else. So, once you have that, let's get started with the actual coding. Alright, guys, so we open up our Visual Studio code right here, and then we're, this is where we left off from last time with the band command. And so, what we're going to do this time is create a new file with, and underneath the commands folder, and we're going to name it mute.js. And once again, we'll be using the advanced command and event handler that we made in episode 3. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure to check out that first. So, how, like usual, how you start off with any command file, just get this code. So just type this code, module.exports, and then type the name of the command. So in this case, it'll be mute. And then type the description of the command. So you can write whatever you want. This, and I'll just write this command, mute some member. Then use the execute method and pass in client, message, and args. And then what you're next what we're going to do is again set up our permissions how we set it up last time. So basically because you don't want anyone using your mute and unmute commands. So you want to like create a permission. So then we're going to type if in the open parentheses member dot has permission. And we're going to do because the administrator anyway by default has all the permissions. But you can just put this right there to make it easier to view. Then use an operational or. And the way that the... Uh, or it should be member here. So the way that the mute command works is basically what we're doing is taking away roles and adding roles. So we're going to have a main role called which will be the member role in this case and we're going to have another role which will be a mute role. So what we're going to do is when we execute the mute command we're going to remove the member role and then add the muted role and when we use the unmute command we're going to remove the muted role and add the member role back. So the permission that we're using is manage role permission. So if we go to our server settings and once again go to roles and if we go to, um, let's say, moderator, and we go to permissions, as you can see, manage roles allows members to create new roles and edit and delete roles lower than them. It also allows members to change permissions of channels that they have access to. Basically, it allows members to like edit roles. Or, so what you're going to do is make sure they have this permission. So we're going to go to a Discord JS documentation, and then we're going to search for manage roles. So manage roles right here. We're going to copy that so we don't mess it up. And then we're just gonna go here and then type member that has permission and a single quotation mark and simply paste it in right here. Once we've done that, we can get started with the actual coding of the mute command. So first of all, we want to declare some constants that we're going to be using and mentioning quite a lot. 
throughout this video. So we're going to first of all declare a const in member. So we're going to type const member mentions equal message. Next we're going to create a const tag which we'll be using to mention the user or the moderator that we ping. So const tag is the less sign, the back to key, which is above your tab key. So press that and then then we're gonna do add money sign up that up member dot id next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the target of the person that we're mentioning so we want to get the first person that we mentioned so we're gonna type const target is equal to message dot mentions first dot first so basically what this does is suppose that we type we go we type like mute dummy account and then we just say let's say another user like myself okay so it's basically it's only going to mute the first person which in this case it's a dummy account it's not going to mute the second person so only going to mute the first person we mentioned next what we're going to do is we're going to get started with the coding so we're going to type then we're going to do if target which is our person that we're trying to mute and then we're going to do so once we type if target, so now we want to get the target of the user that we mentioned. Because right here we're just mentioning the user, but we don't have any information on the user. Then we're gonna do let member dot target is equal to message dot guild dot members dot dot cache dot get is target ID. So this will get us the ID and information that we need in order to mute it. So what this mute command is basically doing, it's managing the roles, it's adding one role and removing the other. So we're going to first define our main role. So the main role in this case, it's going to be our member role. So we're going to type let main role is equal to message dot guild dot roles dot cache dot find. And then we're going to open, do an arrow function right here. And then we're going to type role dot name three equals sign and here single quotation and here we're going to paste our the role that we have created from our server so in this case it's a member role so we'll just go to server settings once again roles and then we're going to get our main role which is the member copy that so we don't make any mistakes paste that in and then then we're going to do the same thing except so we'll just copy that and then paste it right here Except this won't be our main role, and instead it will be our mute role. So we're gonna this is our second variable called mute role. Okay, and then change the mute member to muted, because that is what I believe I put as the role. Yep, muted. So that's here. The first variable is the main role, which is our member, and then the second variable is mute role, which is our muted. So make sure that they exactly match up, otherwise the mute command will not work. So once you have done that, we can actually get started with the part where we start muting the person. So we're going to type a member target roles dot remove main role dot id. So what this is doing is basically it's removing the main role which is the member role and then we're going to type member target dot roles dot add and mute role dot id. And then we want to just log it to the moderator who ran that command message dot channel dot send and then back tap and then again we're going to use the tag so lower case so we're going to type dollar sign open parentheses tag and then we're going to do another lower case and then we're going to type add and then money sign and then member dot target dot user id and put a Braces right here has been muted. Okay, that is done. We just want to close up all the else statements. We're gonna go here and then type else, and then basically what this does here here is if that's not true, it will just say message dot channel dot send, and we're gonna do open that and we're gonna do tag. Please, okay, it should be a back tab. Forgot the back. Please, by a user to mute. Okay, and then close that. 
And next, once we've done that, we're going to do another else statement. Okay. So basically, where if, if the, the person that's trying to run the command does not have permission to run the command, we just want to do message dot channel dot send. You do not have permission to use that command. Okay. And let's just close this. So what we're going to do is close all this. So over here where we create the if target, we're going to create this inside. All this one should be inside the target. So basically that's why they are getting all these errors right here. So let's just close that. And then once again, close this. And then over here, just put up braces. And the reason why we're getting error here is because the list sign should be inside for the backtick. And then when we save it, the code should work. So no dot, bot is ready. And if we go to our server and then we type mute, please specify a user to mute. And so as you can see, the dummy account right here has the member role. And if we go to our dummy account, um, you can see that I can send messages normally. And I have all the permissions like a normal user would have. But if I type now mute dummy account, dummy account has been muted and then you can see the roles have been changed and it has been changed to muted. If you go to a dummy account, see now I no longer have any permissions here. All I can do is basically just view the messages. I can't send any messages. So now I'm stuck like here forever unless some admin has mercy and decides to unmute me. So the way we're going to do that is using our unmute command. So the way we're going to do that is basically copy the mute file code and we're going to create a new file called unmute.js I'm going to paste the code right here and basically wherever it says mute just type unmute this command unmute a member keep everything else the same if it, so you don't have permission to unmute as muted and you don't have permit, okay so then the, the crucial change that you want to do to the unmute command is besides the change everything where it says mute to unmute is you want to change up the how the roles are going to be configured are so ideally right now it's when the mute command is being run you're removing the main role and then you're adding the mute role so what we want to do is just flip that process so instead remove the mute role and then add the main role again so the, again, let me remind you, the mute role is going to be the muted, and the main role is the member. So let's just save that, and no dot. And now if we type unmute dummy account, as you can see, dummy account has been unmuted. But add the dummy account again, and once again, it has the member role. And if we go into our dummy account, as you can see, I have the permission type again. So there you guys have it. So now you can see how you can run the mute command and the unmute command. And if we go to our audit logs, you can see right here, it has updated the roles, so it's removed member, added member, removed and added. So it, it's working. So there you guys have it. Now you know how you can mute and unmute a member. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I'll be continuing this mute command. We'll be setting up a time mute command. Basically, instead of just using the plain mute, we'll just like a hard mute because there's like no way of unmuting the user instead of running the unmute command. If we type mute dummy account for like 10 minutes, it will say has been muted for 10 minutes and the bot will auto unmute the user after 10 minutes so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you stick around for that video so hopefully you like this video make sure to give it a like share this with your friends and family comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video or any other tech related video i'll be happy to help that's it for this video thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day Bye bye